An RSS feed can display machine readable versions of blog or website content. Its standard format operates much like a news aggregator and enables us to keep track of updates from various sources. Thanks to the WordPress RSS block, you can easily show the titles, authors, dates, and excerpts of items as either a list or a grid. Adding the block is simple. Simply press the plus icon, type in RSS, and select the first option. Or you can type forward slash RSS and hit enter to add the block as well. Once you insert the block, click on it and you'll see a toolbar appear. This first icon will let you transform it to columns or group. The next one lets you drag it, and the one after that lets you move it up or down. The next one lets you change the alignment and decide between wide and full width. The final icon is options, which lets you hide more settings, copy, duplicate, insert before or after, move to, add to reusable blocks, group, or even remove block. Now it's time to add our URL. For example, I could use the WordPress news RSS feed on my own website. Just paste it and press the button, and there it is. You'll notice that new icons have been added to the toolbar, but before we check those out, we're gonna press the pencil icon and edit our URL one more time. If you wanna use the RSS feed for your current website, simply add slash feed to the end of the URL and press the button. Now going back to the toolbar, we have two more icons to check out. The first one is list view, which is what this is currently displayed as. If we go to the next one, that's grid view, and it'll change the look to a grid. It's worth mentioning that we will get one additional option in the settings on the right-hand sidebar if we are in grid view. But if we go back to list view, that option will disappear. And if you're not seeing the sidebar, press the cog icon at the top right. From here, under RSS settings, we could choose the number of items to display. By default, it's set to five, and the maximum is 10. We would also decide if we want to display the author, we could display date and display an excerpt, which we can choose the max number of words in that excerpt. And if we switch to grid view, we can choose the number of columns. If we expand the advanced tab here at the bottom, we could also add additional CSS to style our RSS block. And there we go. That's really all there is to the RSS block. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.